वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द ग्रेट ट्रिक इमेज लुकअप इन एक्सेल एंड इमेज लुकअप इज वेरी वंडरफुल ट्रिक व्हाट डू आई मीन विद दिस दैट यू टाइप योर प्रोडक्ट नेम यू टाइप योर एम्प्लॉई नेम और यू टाइप योर एम्प्लॉई नंबर एंड जस्ट पुल आउट द इमेज रिस्पेक्टिव टू दैट प्रोडक्ट नेम और एम्प्लॉई नेम और एम्प्लॉई कोड डोंट यू थिंक इज इट अ ग्रेट ट्रिक लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट बट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट I am again requesting, please do not forget to subscribe this channel. Subscribe it right away and click on below bell icon to get the notifications. Let's learn amazing Excel trick. But before I start, I am just going to tell you one thing that I am going to explain that how you can pull single image with indirect and index and match function. And I am going to tell you that how you can pull multiple images with the help of indirect function and offset function so index and match and offset function is the easiest way to do this if you do not have time to watch the entire video you can just directly jump on to the particular section what do you need to do you need to go to my description section just check out the timelines and click on that time which you want to watch just click on that and you will be able to see that section directly okay without wasting your time so now let's learn this entire video with different methods let's start let's start so on my screen you can see that i have this excel lookup guide okay so what does it look like like you can see that i have created this search employee tool from the employee database so basically what i do i just type my employee names here like sandra okay you can see i can see the employee picture and if i want to look out the team picture also i can pull out team picture also if i change this name i can go down and i can see the pictures have been changed so that is how i'm going to use this amazing image lookup tool okay let's learn this how i created this so on my database tab here you can see that i have names listed here i have employee pictures listed here and other details but here we need to observe few things that whenever you put any image in a cell okay you need to make sure that it does not touch any of that cell border if it is not touching that border then it is fine if it is touching the border then it will bring that image or that border also on your screen so let's understand that so suppose if i change the color of this cell like let me put yellow color okay if i go back to this excel lookup guide i can see the yellow background color is also showing here if i just change the border of this cell so it is thin border let me put little thick border so let me put this and now you can see it, that is little strong border so i can see it is showing here also so that is why i was saying that it should not be touching any of the border if you just want to pull out the image okay so let me remove this let me just put simple border here now i think it is good if you don't want to pull out the borders like if you see here it is still pulling out the border let me remove this color also still it is pulling out the border okay and if you don't want these border you just remove these border by selecting the entire data and then just use no border okay and if you go to the excel lookup guide it is not showing me that border but i was liking that those borders so i'm just keeping it you can just uh, adjust according to your requirement now second thing you need to understand because on my window you can see that i'm pulling the team image also if i go down i can see my team image also okay so if you want to use this trick then you need to make sure that your departments okay so see i just kept my department as an identifier for the employees if this employee belongs to operation department then all the operation department pictures should be displayed on this screen okay so i need to sort it out on the department side because department is my identifier okay so let me put this filter and you can see that it is like first it is showing me operations then it is showing me hr then it is showing me it okay and on the top you can just activate the filter and you can use this sort a to z okay it will be sorting that out so that is the thing you need to remember now go to excel lookup guide so i'll be just creating this tool again for you so let me activate what i have written here so let me make it black so these are the formulas which i was using but let me remove this image i will be telling you that how you can create it let me remove these also 
So first we are going to pull the employee picture, but on the top you are also seeing that how I have pulled this employee number, employee salary. When I'm changing this value, I'm using XLOOKUP formula. You can use VLOOKUP formula or index formula. So if you want to learn about these, you can just go to my YouTube channel and you can learn about XLOOKUP formula, VLOOKUP formula or index match function and you can pull these values here. Okay, so that is the method. Now here we are just specifically going to talk about how you can pull out the pictures. So Sandra is the name. So you can see on the top that in the red I have written here like search here full or in part. So if somebody is typing like Sandra or the full name, okay, it will pull out the picture. So I need to use wild character for this. Okay, so let's understand this. So see if I go to this Sandra and I want to find this Sandra in this database. Okay, what I will do, I will go down and here I will see this Sandra min and this is the picture and it is coming from this B10 cell. So what I need to do, I need to copy this. I need to go to Excel lookup guide tab and here I need to right click, go to paste special. Don't use simple paste special. What do you need to do? You need to click on this arrow and you need to find this linked picture. So on my screen, you can see this linked picture paste special okay you need to put that out and on the top you will see this reference database b dollar 10 so it is coming from b cell and 10th row from database tab so what i'm going to do i'm going to use indirect method so let me type indirect here so this is the method i'm just showing you you can just uh, keep it blank or you can type it and you can just mark it white font color so it will be hidden for other user and then you can protect the sheet okay now here you can see indirect so I'm just using the indirect function method. So recently I created the indirect function video. You can just watch the complete video if you want to learn more about that, how indirect function can help you to create awesome dashboard. Just go there and learn that. Here we'll be using indirect function. So when you click on this, you can see it is database B10, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this database B10 here directly. So I know my pictures are in database cell. So what I'll be doing, I will be using inverted comma and I'll be putting this database here. And if you want to learn how these sheet names get used in the indirect function, you just watch that video. So database here, then we need to use semicolon. I will be explaining like semicolon why we are using semicolon. Then it was coming from B10 cell and I type B10 cell. Okay, I click okay. Now it is showing me that B10 is my employee picture. If you see here, it is showing me database then it is pulling the employee picture from b10 cell that is this cell okay so what i need to do i need to convert this b10 cell into text so what i can do i can just uh, use inverted comma and i can just press enter it is showing me b10 now here we need to understand when you select this picture on the top you can see the here it is using semicolon that is why i put database semicolon it is fixed part but b10 is something which is going to change so suppose if i change this b10 to b11 okay and i press enter it is changing the image so what i'm going to do i am going to change this thing dynamically in this cell itself okay so that i can pull it out with the help of indirect function on this place so what i will do i will remove this 10 i will keep b here because b is the column from where i'm pulling the data if you want this column also to be dynamic, then you need to use some other method like you can use match method or index method or something like that. So I'm going to use match method. So what I'm doing here, I'm connecting database. Okay, that is the sheet name. Then it is a cell reference B and don't forget this semicolon. It is very important. Okay, so you need to keep semicolon whenever you are putting any sheet name. So it is database. If you have space in the name of that sheet, like you can see Excel lookup guide. So you need to put this Excel lookup guide first in the single inverted commas. Okay, then you need to put this semicolon, then it will be pulling out that value. So B and then I will be using 10. So how I can do that? I need to type match function. Then Sandra is something which I'm going to find in my database. I'm just finding the location of this Sandra. Okay, here you can see D5 is fixed. So I can press F4 to make it fix then lookup array. Lookup array is coming from database. So this is the sheet. So what do you need to do? You need to select the entire data. Okay, because it will be showing that row location here. So then you need to fix it by pressing F4. Then you need to type zero. Okay, now that is for exact match. You can learn about match function by watching my video. 
Now d5, okay, I need to put and symbol and I need to use while character. The reason is because if you have seen my database, okay, it is showing Sandra main, but I have typed only Sandra. If you want to partially match the values, then you need to use d5 then star symbol, okay. If you want to learn about these wild characters, you can watch my VLOOKUP video and some video where I have explained that why we use the star symbol, okay. So d5 then star symbol, okay. So what it is going to do, Sandra, so any name which is starting from Sandra, okay, it will be pulling out that location from this array, okay then it will be throwing out the value let me enter it now it is showing me 10 so now let me change it re so you can see it is showing me b2 if i just use any other name like from this sheet like here vandana okay and i press enter it will be showing me b11 so it is coming from 11th row so that is why i used match function if you want this column also to be dynamic just watch my indirect function video you will understand that or else you can use any other method so that is match function now it is database b11 so what i'm going to do i'm going to formulas i'm going to go to this name manager and here i have this image so let me delete this so i'll create it new for you then okay so let me click new and if i shift it here i just name it image search so basically it is custom name range okay you type b10 in the cell if you give this name you can use directly this name okay so i'm just uh, customizing this name with the name manager and now here i'm using indirect function you type equal to sign indirect and pressing this bracket on option then you will be connecting this with this cell l11 okay you just make this fix you need to make sure that it is fixed okay i'm using dollar symbol here before the column name and the row name okay then you need to click okay and when you click okay close it go back to this image and just change this to image search okay so you can see this name it is showing you the suggestion you just double click on it and then press enter and once you do that it will be pulling out the image let me change the name Rhea. can you see it is changing the name if i change this name to sandra it will pull the new name if i type full name sandra main it will pull out the image okay so that is how you can pull out the images. So now I'm going to talk about the new method that how you can pull this. You need to use index and match function. Okay. Now I'm going to use index and match function to pull out these images. So first method is index match. You can use VLOOKUP also. That is also easy. Uh, but I'm here I'm using index match uh, to make people understand. So let me type index. And if you want to learn more about index and match function, just watch my index and match function video. You will understand that how to use index and match function. So I'm typing index then array. Array is coming from this. So what does this array mean? Result array. Okay. So from this array, you want to pull out the image. Okay. So let me fix this range by pressing F4. Let me press F4 here also. So that entire range can be fixed then it is calling out me the number the number same number which i'm using this b10 okay so i'm using same formula match function then i will be putting this sandra min so now if i select this sandra min you can see this sandra min is this cell is merged from d5 to g5 so that is why it was pulling entire range. so what i need to do i need to remove this g5 and this column i need to press f4 only for d5 so first cell always shows that value so that is d5 so d5 is the first value in the merged cell okay so that is the location then lookup array lookup array will become your name array so you need to make sure that you should be selecting the same array in the match function which you have selected in the result array in the index function okay so just select this uh, range and then press f4 and then press 0 okay but we remember that we need to use while character because we don't write entire name so we can use character that is and symbol then we need to put star in the inverted comma so it shows that it is something else okay if, if any name which is starting from sandra and ending at something okay it will pull out that location and then i will be just closing that bracket and it will be showing me zero okay so i don't need to worry about it i just need to copy this formula go back to name manager and paste that function to this part okay go at the beginning okay don't press your left and right arrow key in this name manager otherwise it will mess your formula now let me close this window 
now i need to just go back and type new name like rea it is still changing the image okay so it means that function is also working so that is how you can use index and match function also if you want to use vlookup function you can use vlookup function also to create this image lookup okay now let's learn that how you can pull the information for the entire team okay so as we discussed that uh, if it is operations department okay all the operation department images uh, should be displayed here okay but before that we need to uh, make sure that our data is sorted okay so if i am pulling the information from this department wise or if you think that product type wise we are going to pull the information you need to make sure that you sort it out so that it can easily get picked in the excel image lookup so how we are going to do this we are going to use the same named manager method but uh, here we are going to use excel range in the indirect function and the offset method so if you see if you look at this method on the top it is showing only the cell reference it is using only one cell and that is why it is showing me one image so what i'm going to do i'm going to use same thing let me copy this formula and let me paste this formula here let me align this also so what i want to do i want to put colon after b2 and till b11 or something like that so see this image is starting from b2 okay but here we need to understand we are matching this operations department so we need to make some tweaking here that we are not finding d5 we are finding operations okay and it is not in the wild character and database uh, so this department data that is available in the column f okay so what you can do you can just change this to f1 to f11 now it, what it is going to do it is going to find the exact location from where it is starting okay so if you press enter it is starting from second let me just uh, make it fixed the cell now i need to use end symbol again then i need to put inverted comma and colon and this inverted comma i need to connect it again now again we need to use b in the inverted comma then end symbol now what you are going to do you are going to count this operations in that range this f1 to f11 range okay so what you can do you can just copy this range from here or either you can select it manually so i'm just typing count if okay range and then criteria if you want to learn about count if function you can just go to my youtube video and you can watch this then type this database f1 to f11 okay that is my range and my criteria is operations okay hope you understood this now it is counting in this range that how many times this l line value that is operation occurs in this range okay and then we'll be throwing out the value so you can see it is coming like three times okay but here we need to understand one thing that we need to add this match value also in this range the reason is because see it is giving me the count but where from where it is starting it is not giving me that so let me add this match okay so it is saying that it is starting from second and add three so there are three occurrence of operations so there are three team members okay so second is zero from where it is starting uh, and the count of the operation is occurring three times so two three four so these are the rows which is containing the team images or these product images you can say so we need to add this match okay then we need to add this count f and then we need to deduct minus one because it is starting from two and two plus three it is equal to five but if you talk about like two three four okay two three four is covering the entire team okay so we need to deduct that and then we need to press enter now you can see b2 to b4 let's go to this database and now you can see b2 b3 b4 okay if i go back to this now what you can do you can just change it to sandra and you can see you can just look at it b8 to b11 okay database go down and now here we can see b8 to b11 okay so that is how it is going to work let me go back let me use the same team function so what we'll be calling it out team search so let me pull let me write team search and let me remove this and let me use indirect function and then what i can do i can just link it out to this cell and click ok and once i do that it is team search now let me copy this image let me paste this image and here i just need to change this image search to team search and press enter and now the entire team will start displaying 
if I go up, if I change this to Rie, you can see the team image is also changing. Now we are now we are going to pull this team picture with the help of offset function method. What we are going to do, we are going to use offset function to pull the multiple values. But before that, I just want to make you understand what is offset function. And if you want to learn more about offset function, you can just go to my YouTube channel and can watch my offset function video that may help you to understand this method. Okay, so offset function is basically help you to define a range and then give some argument or give some values to move it from there. Okay, let me simplify this. Suppose if you are standing at A1 cell, if I ask you to go to third row, okay, what you will be doing? You will be selecting A4. So from A1, you need to add three rows, then you will be going to A4 cell. Okay, manually you can do that. But if I ask you to do it with the formula, you can do that thing with the help of offset function. And also, I want to tell you one thing that if I ask you to use offset function method, okay, uh, let me explain this again. Suppose if you are standing at A1 location and I ask you to go to third row from A1 location and then go to fifth column. So fifth column from A1 is the E column, okay, A, B, C, D, E. So E4 will be your cell. But if I ask you to do that with the help of Excel function, how you can do that? you can use offset function. So let me explain you this. So suppose if I am asking this offset, okay, and it is showing me the reference. So let me go to database and let me select this name. And now on the top, you can see this function. And I ask, go to fifth row, select third column and show me the value. If I press enter, it is showing me 20221. Let's understand this. We selected A1, then it is going to fifth row, one, one, two, three, four, five. Then it is going to third row, third column, one, two, three. Okay, it is showing me two, zero, two, two, one. Okay, so it is adding the value in the base row and base column and then showing you the exact value from that location. Okay, so that is how this offset function works. Again, I'm telling you, if you still you are confused, just go to my YouTube video and watch this. I have detailed it out in that video and I'm sure that you will be able to understand it. Now, what we need to do, let me fix this cell A1. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull multiple values with the help of offset function. And in the optional argument, you can see it is also defining height and width. So height and width, how it can help you? Height is if you want to select multiple rows, okay? So starting from fifth row, select four rows from there, okay? So it will be selecting fifth row, then sixth row, then seventh row, then eighth row, and it will be showing you all the values as an array to you. If I ask you to select multiple columns, you can select multiple columns also. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that will come under the width. So you can define that width and height. And if you want to learn more, you can just watch my video. So let me uh, do this. So rows. So rows, what I'm going to do, I'm going to find this IT from where it is starting. So let me find this IT. Let me fix this. Then it is my lookup array. What I need to do, I need to go here. I need to select this F1 range. Let me fix this and let me put zero here and let me press enter. But if I press enter, it is showing me the error. The reason is because there is one more compulsory argument which you need to fill that is column. So we can keep it blank or you can give any other value if you want to. And then you press enter. It is showing Robinson William. So what it is doing, A1 cell, and it is finding it in this uh, range okay so let me evaluate this formula or what you can do you can select the formula and press f9 just to get uh, the value within the formula itself and it is showing me eighth row so what it will be doing it will be selecting a1 and then adding eighth row and selecting a9 row okay so let me go to this a9 and it is showing me robinson william but here if you have observed that it is starting from this eighth row okay it should be showing me eight but as I am defining 8 here, I need to deduct minus 1 here. Once I do that, it is showing me Jack Ryan. So Jack Ryan is coming from here. So that is the first cell which we need to select. And then from there, we need to select the count of this IT. So IT is occurring 4 times. So offset function will be selecting 4 values from there. And how we can do that? We need to put 
count it in the height argument height argument selects multiple rows and if you want to select multiple columns you can select width so let me type count if and then we have this range let me select this range again and then my criteria argument i need to select this it and now you can see it is showing me multiple arguments let me delete this let me show only l9 so it should be coming from the first cell from the merged cell and let me press enter and it is showing me exactly all the four values okay similarly if i change this to b1 i'm not shifting to any other column okay if, if i shift it to like minus one okay suppose i'm selecting b1 i'm entering minus one it will still keep showing me this value because it is offsetting that value to the previous column okay minus one so let me keep it zero or if you add one it will pull all the employee code so employee code is coming from this cell okay so b1 is the base column or base uh, row you can say or base cell you can say and from there it is pulling automatically value by offsetting the column and offsetting the rows so what i'm going to do because i want to pull pictures from the b1 column itself so i need to press zero here and let me copy this formula let me go to name manager and in the team search i can just replace this formula with the offset function okay so once i do that then i can just press column yes it is working fine so let me select this image again and just press team search okay so now it is working fine let me change it it is changing so offset function and indirect function both can work in this method Hope you like this video. Still, if you have question, please do ask and you can just go to my description section to download the practice file. Thanks for watching this video and please do not forget to give a thumbs up and do not forget to share this video with your friends. And also, if you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe. Okay, let's get connected and you can learn multiple amazing tricks in Excel by just subscribing my this video. Check out the description section. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.